Hey! 
The AAC has mandated that the following sportsmanship creed be read before every athletic contest. The MAIS recognizes that the spirit of the game of basketball lives in skilled offense, effective defense, and a well-planned strategy. The spirit of this game cannot be maintained unless sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity are our number one priority. Good sportsmanship will be expected from all groups associated with MAIS activities. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the introduction for tonight's starting lineup for the visiting Lady Eagles. Number 10, we have Miss Jalea Smith. Number 22, Ms. Lauren Madison. Number 5, Marley Lutkin. Number 21, Ms. Sophie, Ms. Sophie Masterson. And number 25, Ms. Emily Beerhead. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineup for your Lady Cougars. Starting at point guard number three, Kayla Emerson. <laughs> starting at forward number two, Kalia Garvey. <laughs> starting at guard number 31, Arlicia Fisher. And forward, number 21, Alexia Beer. And to complete our starting five at center, number 20, Bria Mallon. 
to the Cougar Den for tonight's matchup between the Corner Chapel Academy Eagles and your Hillcrest Christian School Cougars. Tonight is senior night. If we could get all of our senior parents to come down to the court, to come down to the floor so that you are readily available when your student name is called. All right, ladies and gentlemen, could I could I have your attention, please? Could I have everyone's attention, please? I think it's customary, as all of us know, in our schools at the conclusion of uh, basically the season, and we pick a night to honor our seniors at our respective schools and to give them thanks for the hard work and what they mean to heal for us. And we want to take time to do that evening. We have two young ladies on our uh, Lady Cougar basketball team. I'll introduce them first. They'll be greeted by their coaches and at court. First, we have Marlisa Pickers. Marlisa, please step forward. Marlisa is 
been escorted by our parents, Angela and Jake Biggers. Our lease here has played basketball for four years. Can I have your attention, please? Let's not have any talking. I, thank you so much. This is their night. We want to hear all of them. Alicia has played basketball for four years. Her life first is John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you have peace. In this world you have tribulation, but be a good cheer. I have overcome the world. Alicia's favorite basketball memory was in ninth grade, and she was on a fast break all by herself. She plans to go to the Heinz Community College next year. The most meaningful part of the season for Alicia has been bonding with the team and learning new things about playing basketball. Alicia has said, HCS basketball has been back to my life by teaching me to be stronger, stronger in life when things get tough. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give her a round of applause? Next, uh, Senior Lady Cougar, Trinity Dobson. <laughs> Trinity. Thank you. Trinity's got her two favorite escorts there, uh, Coach Phillips and uh, America. But she's played basketball this year for Hillcrest, her life first, Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Our favorite basketball memories when teammates were laughing in practice and having a great time. And they had a great time, and then they heard, get on that line, players. Next year, Trinity plans to attend William Carey University for dance. She aspires to become a professional dancer. The most meaningful thing about basketball this season has been being around her peers. It's all about being there for each other, no matter what, helping each other and supporting one another, being a real family. Trinity said, basketball has impacted my life by just working with my coaches who are always there for me. They pushed me to be the best I can. Even though I wasn't on the court that much, they still showed me the same love. Let's give Trinity a round of applause. All right, we'll start with our senior uh, Cougars tonight, our men's basketball team. And our first senior we'll recognize is Eric Beth. <laughs> Eric's escorted by his mother, Ramona, and brother, Tom. Eric has played basketball for Hillcrest for two years. His favorite scripture is Joshua 1 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Eric's favorite basketball memory was winning the South State Championship two years ago. Next year, Eric plans to go on to college and major in civil engineering. The most meaningful thing about this season has been proving to not only ourselves, but to everyone else. And Hill Press belongs in the overall this year. Go Eric. Eric said basketball has impacted his life by bringing him closer to God. Thank you so much. Let's get Eric a round of applause. Our next Cougar uh, is Ethan Battle. <laughs> Very 
Hendricks, escorted by his parents to Mika and Ron Battle. Ethan has played basketball for three years. His favorite Bible verse is Psalm 23 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Ethan's favorite basketball memory was when somebody fell and he started to grab it in the knee. I guess that sticks out for Ethan. Okay. Next year, he plans to attend Hyatt for a year and then go get his CDL license. Winning has been the most meaningful part of basketball this season. Basketball at Hillcrest has impact, impacted his life by improving his people and relational, relational skills. Ethan, thank you so much for what you've done. Let's give him a round of applause. Next Hill first cooker, we're going to recognize is Ryan Bradley. Ryan has played basketball for Hillcrest for three and a half years. His favorite memory was throwing Gatorade, Gatorade bottles at his teammates on the van and getting his first dunk in a game. Good job. Ryan plans to uh, continue his education by entering trade school next year. Basketball has impacted his life, life because he's taught me how to work through difficulties and overcome problems. Brian, thank you so much for what you've made to us. Let's give Brian a round of applause. All right, next cooker is Darius J.D. Jenkins. J.D.'s parents are Odessa and Howard Jenkins. JD's played basketball for two years. His life verse is 2 Corinthians 5 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. His favorite basketball memories are the talks on the band. Next year he plans to go to college, major in business and welding engineering. The most painful thing about this season to him is that he has learned how to work as a team and that you have to work for what you want. J.D. said, basketball has impacted my life because it has taught me the meaning of hard work and brotherhood. J.D., thank you. <laughs> so, so thank you, Eric. basketball for Hillcrest for two years now, and he remembers his favorite memories getting that first team win last season to break the losing streak. So it's a plan to work and play basketball next year. The most meaningful thing about this season has been coming together with his brothers and changing what kind of team we are. So to said Hillcrest basketball has brought me closer to my creator and taught me how to be more patient. So thank you so much. Next senior, Tony Tillerson. <laughs> With Tony tonight's mother, Carmaker, his sister, Tawanda, and his aunt, Tamika. Tony has played basketball for three years for the friends. His favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 41 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Also, Luke 14 11, for all those who exalt themselves will be humble, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Tony's favorite members this year have been impersonating Coach Greg. 
She was sitting there, too. Hey, give us a Coach Greg. No, you're not going to do it, are you? Okay. <laughs> and seeing Coach Greg energy and intensity while making us a better player can show a good thing to them. And they plan to follow whatever God's path is for him next year. And the most meaningful part of this season has been every moment spent with his family and in the Cougar deal. Tony said, he says, basketball has made me disciplined, has made me a better person, and a better basketball player. It has mentally helped me in the classroom and with time management. It has made me grow and increase my overall self-esteem. Thank you, Tony. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now our final senior has earned the name Manager of the Year, KJ McGrew. <laughs> AJ's parents are Kevin and Lisa McGreeder. All right. KJ's favorite verse is 2 Timothy 2, 15. Do your, do your best to present, present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. His favorite basketball memory is every moment. Good job. KJ said he plans to go wherever the road takes him next year, just going forward in life, and he's had fun managing the guys. HCS basketball has impacted my life by teaching me the meaning of brotherhood. Well said, KJ. Let's give KJ a round. All right, last minute photos or whatever we need to do. Porter Chapel, thank you for giving us this time tonight. We really appreciate it. And we'll get the guys out here and let them warm up in just a second. Thank you.
tonight's starting lineup for the visiting Eagles. Number 11, Chase Hearn. Number two, Taylor Lamar. Number four, Ty Mack. Number 24, Gavin White. And number three, Jake Young.